the steps you need to follow in putting together your portfolio of evidence. Begin by choosing the most appropriate ASDSA designation to match to your working experience. You can do that by reviewing the designation descriptions for each of the three designations. You'll find a copy of them on the ASDSA website. Once you've identified which seems to be the most appropriate designation for you in your working experience, you can then complete the online self-evaluation instrument that is on the ASDSA website to check that you're on the right track. Next step then is to register for that designation on the ASDSA website and pay the fee for the process. You then move on to preparing yourself and you can do that by reviewing the range of portfolio building videos that's available to you and the support material. When you are clear on what you need to do, begin work on compiling and uploading your portfolio of evidence. This exercise will probably take you a couple of weeks. Once you have uploaded all of the evidence that you want to submit, advise the ASDSA that you're ready for evaluation. We will then appoint an evaluator who will work through your portfolio of evidence uh, and evaluate it against the rubric uh, that they use for assessing a portfolio of evidence. They'll also give you feedback, both written and verbal. Why both? Well, it's because we are very aware that you're working with naturally occurring evidence from your working history, and you're working with evidence of things that might have happened some time ago. So it may be difficult for you to get evidence. Feedback from your evaluator on how and where you might get evidence is often invaluable to you. Once the evaluator gives you feedback, you may find that you are not yet ready for your designation and you need to submit additional information. You are allowed to do that. You can submit remedial information into your workbook. And one repeat evaluation, one remedial evaluation is included in the cost of this evaluation exercise. Once the evaluator has completed their work, they will pass the portfolio onto the ASDSA verifier. The job of the verifier is to look back over the work done by the evaluator and confirm that it is of an acceptable standard. The portfolio then moves on to the certification committee that meets monthly. And it is the certification committee that makes the final decision about who gets a designation. Once you receive your designation, you will then move on to activities that you plan that will help you remain current in your field. You then implement whatever activities that you've planned and you report, it, report on it on an annual basis as part of your CPD program. We're often asked how long this process will take. Well, we reckon that you probably need to spend a couple of hours preparing yourself for this. That includes reviewing videos, looking at the guideline documents and the workbook and so on. The process of completing the workbook is probably around about a two day process. We've had many candidates who decide to spend a weekend doing that and by the end of the weekend, they've got the basics of their workbook together. You probably need a bit more time than that though because you probably don't have all the evidence you need. As you know, you're looking back over your working experience to find evidence to support whatever examples of your competence you're going to give us. And you may not have all of that evidence. You may need to go and search for it. You may need to ask other people to provide you with evidence, including testimonials. And that's going to take a little bit longer. So we reckon that's probably around about a two week process. However, you have two months to do that. You have eight weeks. Once you tell us that your portfolio is ready for evaluation, our evaluators work within a two week timeline. So what they will need to do is evaluate your portfolio and give you feedback, probably within three or four days from receiving your portfolio. You will then have just a few days to do any remedial work that is needed and upload it. And then they will do the remedial evaluation after that. So they work within a two week timeline. From there, it goes to the verifier and they work with a one week timeline. And once both evaluate and verify are done, it moves on to the certification committee, which meets monthly. So you can see from looking at the process 
that it's somewhere between a five week to three month process. It will happen more quickly if you put aside time to do it. We recommend that you actually plan time and try and do it as quickly as possible because when you delay process and you work on it and then put it aside for a while, it uh, takes longer because you have to catch up on your thinking. Simply put, this is an eight step process. Step number one is to get your CV together and do any updates that are needed. Step number two is to get a currently certified copy of whichever qualification you have that meets the designation requirements. Step number three is to do some planning by identifying examples of your workplace competence that you want to include in your portfolio. Then move on to describing each example in turn using the guideline questions and the rubric. Next, identify the evidence that you need for each of these examples and begin gathering that evidence and which is now step number six. So list your, the evidence in your workbook against each of the examples. Then upload your portfolio using the link provided by the ASDSA. And when you are done, advise us that you're ready for evaluation.